The view from the Navu on the Navasink River, the 49-foot Navu, is Monmouth University, Urban Coast Institute's newest acquisition, a donation from one of the Institute's collaborators, the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. We are really thrilled to be able to support Monmouth University in their expanding marine science research program. The NAVU has undergone major maintenance and improvement. It now has state-of-the-art technologies, enabling highly detailed views of underwater terrains, overnight research on the water, and research much farther from shore than the school's two other smaller vessels. We like to say part of the reason that the Monmouth Urban Coast Institute was founded is that we have an ideal laboratory in this region to study any number of issues, coastal pollution, uh, issues having to do with beach management, issues having to do with siting offshore wind farms, uh, navigation, any number of issues. So this is your laboratory, and we like to say our, our, uh, at Monmouth, this is our coast, but this is your horizon. We all share this in common, and now with this vessel, we'll all be able to explore that, research that. The phrase used over and over again about this vessel is how it will expand this university's research on the water and in the water. Actually do oceanographic cruise work and hands-on authentic science with students in, in a format that we couldn't do before. So this vessel opens up tremendous opportunities. In previous years we'd have to split up the classes to go out, um, but now we can really take advantage of our full class periods and we'll be able to do like um, more substantial sampling and we can probably also like analyze our samples on the boat um, with uh, uh, like our endowed professor Jason Adolph when he's doing the phytoplankton. Um, we won't have to like take it back to the lab. We now have the space and the equipment to analyze it. Um, in the field. Professor Jason Adolf demonstrated some of his research, collecting samples to measure water quality and find out what's in the Navasink. The students and marine scientists examined what they captured. Oh, we do have a fish in there. Yeah. Is that a fish or? Get Keith, quick. What kind of fish is that? <laughs> it looks like a, uh, <laughs> there's a, face up on it. a long skinny Dolphin. thing. That looks like, oh, there's a little crab. Long skinny one's a northern pipe fish. The NAVA will enable Professor Keith Dunton to expand his research and tracking of coastal sharks and the endangered Atlantic sturgeon through acoustic tagging. This is an easy pass system for fish. So as the fish sims by this receiver, its time, date uh, gets stamped. Uh, these tags can also be coded to tell us what depth the fish is at, what temperature the fish is at. Dunton says it's information to help set policy that protects marine life. The university says what the NAVA will allow researchers to do seems almost without limits. This boat is such a game changer that we already have other universities in the area who are asking to be able to utilize the boat for their research and we certainly plan on partnering with them to do so. Generosity spawning generosity. Aboard the NAVU, Michael Hill, NJTV News.